this war fine Germans in Africa. Now I'm fine Germans in Germany. My name's War Daddy. I'm a commander of a tank crew. And then somehow I came across an STG-44. And I love her. <laughs> the Germans call her the Sturmgewehr. I call her my love affair. I'm a complex character. Somehow I know German. Maybe hinted that I fought in World War I. I'm an older NCO. What about it? My name's Norman. I was uh, supposed to be a typewriter. Part of the job is training up new guys when they join the tank crew. And now I'm on this tank crew. A little bit challenging, sometimes people die, is what it is. I don't know where we are. Listen, Norman, I promised this tank crew I'd get them home safe. We've been together since North Africa. Now, my front gun is dead, and you're the man to fill the job. But I'm a translator. Who are you talking to? This tank commander guy seems pretty serious. He told me to call him War Daddy as soon as I pulled up. Do I want them to fear me, or do I want them to love me? As a boss, it's sometimes hard to find both. I think, I want him to fear how much they love me. And then I've, he made me um, execute a prisoner. Oh yeah, we made Norman execute this prisoner. To be fair, within the laws of the Geneva Convention, he was wearing an enemy, well, he was wearing one of our coats, which made him technically wearing a uniform and he was disguised as an American. So he's technically a spy, which made him worthy of that. Ex that execution was all above. And then right, uh, big chungus on the barrel of the tank. Oh yeah, that big chungus thing. <laughs> Something we do for the new guys. <laughs> the boys love it. The boys love it. The big chungus thing. It gets everybody. You know, the tank crews think it's hilarious. It's a good time. Don't tell Norman, though. Wait till you see it. What? What a man can do to another man. Anyway, we're going to go uh, hit on some fraud lines. Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the talking. I am the talking STG44. Today we are going over the STG44. This is what I would call a historic, a monumental, a big deal to my freaking channel to get an STG44 on it. So a big thank you to the person who let me borrow it, Jeff, but I am very, very excited to show this gun off. It's been a fan favorite of, I'm sure all of us gun guys here, at least <laughs> that watch or enjoy my channel. And I couldn't resist, well, couldn't resist. I had like an obligation to myself because I freaking love this gun. I didn't know why, never touched one before, but it's just part of firearms history and it's historical and it's freaking beautifully aesthetic. So let's talk about the SCG-44. Oversturm Lieutenant said I can have a break to talk about the SCG-44. Now, of course, gentlemen, let's, uh, let's address the elephant in the room. I don't have the correct historical period gear on. I know it's a big bummer and it's kind of annoying to uh, my historical hardcore fanboys, which I respect and I, I love you guys to death. I love my guys out there, my reenactors that have a very hardcore attention to detail when it comes to historical reenactments. And I know technically this is all in a, a time period like correct because, you know, hey, the, the, the little East, East German Strictarn pattern, it could have technically, you know, East Germans could have been using SCG-44s, I guess SS camo, and then this combination of stuff, right? Minus the Patagonia pants and Merrill boots. ka -chow! So I, of course, have to address that because, yet again, I do respect the hell out of my historical reenactors. Thank you guys for keeping history alive. Now, the SCG-44, listen, fellas, 
Guys, I know there's more of you out there that probably know way more about this gun than I do, but thankfully I have the opportunity to show this gun off for you and we can show it off in a fun, enjoyable manner. Now, the SUG-44 being the grandfather to all modern assault rifles today, everyone kind of knows the history of how Hitler didn't like the idea of an assault rifle, which is a very goofy idea when you think about it now, considering, I mean, could you imagine, like, this war game with me? And I know I always do this, but just imagine Yahtzee Germany kicking off the war with a bunch of STG-44s. Like, could you imagine that, right? It would be like advancing that, because, I mean, this gun is already, firearms tech-wise, way advanced for that era. Within 20th century, 21st century, 20 years tech now is a huge leap in advancement. Think about 20 years ago with our current military and what they were using, and just down to technology, down to fire, arms it's 20 years is a big deal and for them to be pretty much light years ahead with this but i think it would be a very interesting game to watch if that makes sense essentially they're mecked out germans coming across france taking on dudes that have bolt action rifles with an assault rifle right that's kind of like the war game i'm trying to get at all right sorry guys over Stern lieutenant said breaks over so we got to move on Ugh. so here's the reality of this situation gentlemen is i'm about to talk about this firearm but the thing is is i have a very limited number of bullets through this particular firearm and i'm not trying to of course sell you an sg44 because i i do want one for myself historically speaking but they're just very hard to come by and i know there are people out there that were potentially going to do uh, reproduction models but it just i guess it didn't really happen yet or if they did they're all sold out so the market on these is is very sought after and it's like if you can get one then good for you but what i will do is i'll tell you what it was like to shoot what it was like to like to operate for a little bit and keep in mind we did have some hiccups with the initial operation of this weapon this so we have total access to me four mags and these three mags they were not up to snuff they were not doing their job this one mag was passable but not great i still had malfunctions with it i think it's a magazine issue because once it got going it got going rather well there seemed to be some weird fire rates off the get-go like good 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 like it was speeding up almost with that gas system so i don't know if it's maybe a gas system issue that's essentially the gist of it right uh, of what's going on with the gun itself now the recoil impulse was very controllable I felt like a return to sight picture after that initial shot, like it was very easy to do. Now, I will tell you, I do have a good amount of time on the SCG-44 and some Hell Let Loose, some Battlefield 5 video games. That's why I have a lot of time behind this particular farm. But in IRL, in real life, I can't use acronyms. I don't know why I'm using acronyms, I'm an adult. But IRL, this is my first time ever getting behind it. Yet again, real big treat, but it's really interesting to see the small little details and little personality traits of this firing arm coming to light. So let's kind of go over, run through the gun real quick, just because, why not? I got it here and I want to do it. So it's been a hot second since I've actually watched a lot of SCG-44 content. Now, of course, if you want to reference and get a good history lesson, go watch Forgotten Weapons. Love Forgotten Weapons. I love Ian McComb. He's a big sweetheart. Love that guy. But I'm relearning the gun right now, or re or essentially learning the gun right now, and then observing it firsthand. But I just discovered there's this threads up here. I didn't realize this gun had threads. I thought this was just like a, a muzzle device of some kind, but it actually has threads, which is pretty freaking sick. I, I didn't realize that. So in theory, in theory, you could be running around World War II with an optic and a suppressor, in theory. So I guess Battlefield 5 wasn't completely. We got a hanger up here, very simple, not much to say about that. Um, I don't know if it has space for vertical grip or a flashlight. <laughs> Moving to the rear, just got our desk cover right here. Desk cover, of course, has that iconic pop up. Boop, there it goes. Everybody's in a desk pop. Got our, on this side, got our mag release and then our straight insert. Boop, just like that. All right, other side, of course, we have our safety selector, trigger. All right, now, of course, we got this button right here. If you're like, what's this button? It's essentially, this is your semi to fast shooting selector. So in this configuration, let's see what it is. So it's in the fast shooting selection. If you want to switch over, just pop her over. We'll give her, give her a charge. You'll reset. Boom, there's that reset click. Okay. Okay, so now let's do the... Uh, let me unblonde girl moment myself. We'll do the ghost of trigger now with an actual reset. Sorry, guys. Okay. Boom. There she is. And then let's see that, that reset. Really good reset. Really comfy. Like, it's a very, like, that, that spring tension pushing back on your finger feels very nice. Like, it feels very good. And the gun. Boom. Uh, oh, yeah. I like that. I, li I really like that. Now, I don't know about you, but if I got transported back in time and the Hell Let Loose server for the American side was full, and I'd go to the German team, I 9,000% would pick this. Honestly, if I was an American too, I'd, 
I wish I could use this. I wish I was Brad Pitt and Fury and had access to an SUG-44 with all the ammo I needed to go do the fighting. Because this is, for that time period, yet again, I feel like there's footage of actually scoped SCG-44s as well floating around. I think it was like that one German rocking by a burned column, if I recall correctly. If I'm wrong, it could just be the SCG-44 itself. If not, then I think there are pictures. That's another force multiplier, is having a magnified optic if you're already a good shooter. If you're not a good shooter, then just go train and get better. That's that's all I have to say about that. This is something that I would 9,000% pick in the server in the lobby if I was having to, to spawn in in that situation. Man, this thing is freaking cool, dude. All right, so real quick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot the target it's about a medium sized normal steel silhouette. Uh, we're gonna set the gun up for semi-automatic and then we're going to push it out to distance, essentially just playing like, you know when you're a kid and you played horse and you like, or you just played basketball and you kept making shots, so you'd move further back until you missed the basket. We'll just start moving back. I mean here, we'll, we'll probably shoot here of course, just for our baseline. My least favorite shooting position is like the kneeling to sitting position. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. Sorry, I'll prone out next time. <laughs> I love the unconventional, weird shooting positions. What the heck, dog? No, your hold, admin. There we go. Uh, hold. Uh, I think I'm just gonna hold about the neckline. That should be the the best bet. There we go. All right, let's see if we can't keep going back. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's it's gonna start to blend in pretty damn good. No, I think the only thing that sticks out is that cut cut down two by four. All right, dude, this is truly the goaded hell let loose setup right here. Binoculars, SCG44. Irons are doing me dirty. Got him. We got him. Oh, that reciprocates. Forgot about that. Man, I don't know. That's gotta be like 150 yards, it feels like. Well, Jim, I think this was an excellent way to conclude the video. Thanks for stopping by and watching me get to, uh, essentially manhandle this beautiful SCG-44. So yet again, big thank you to Apex Gun Parts for bringing me out here and let me use their guns and firearms, and they've been a longtime supporter of the channel. If you want me to support this channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon, excellent way to support the channel. I have a Discord. We stay up late, we talk about girls. You guys can talk amongst yourselves, have a little bit of community that all enjoy this channel. We do giveaways, I do behind the scenes stuff. Giveaways is actually really good because I have, I get all this gear in, I gotta get rid of it, I wanna give it back to you guys. And I think it's a great way to give back to the people that support me. Merchandise, merchandise is an excellent way to support the channel. As always, gentlemen, stay easy, stay breezy. Catch you on the flip. Now, Hold on. D pause. I don't know. Damn, I'm good. I am <sighs> Send me more pigs to kill. Oh, I, like look a little uh, uh, uh act natural though. <laughs> Oh, I got it. <laughs>